everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be on the spring inspired makeup look that I am wearing right now. It literally just snowed yesterday, but I know that spring is right around the corner. I'm holding out hope. So in honor of that, I'm busting out some brighter pops of color. So if you like this look and want to see how I got it, please keep watching. Okay, so I've already done my brows and my foundation and I am using the Morphe 350 palette and the colors don't have names, but I'm just taking a nude blush tone shade and throwing that into my crease as a transition. And then I'm taking a slightly darker shade and a smaller crease brush and I'm just putting this in the outer half of my crease just to slightly deepen it. I don't want it to be too dark because this is a spring look so I want it to be light and bright but I still want to add a little bit of dimension. And then I will go back in with the initial fluffy brush and just blend it out a little bit. And as you can see, my left eye is starting to water. It has been doing that off and on all day. I do not know why, but it is making it really hard to film a makeup tutorial. So please excuse any red or wateriness during this video. I had to take a quick break for a second to let it calm back down and then we are back at it. So next for the eyes I'm using the Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo and this one is in the shade Barely Branded and it is just a champagne -y kind of color and I'm using a flat synthetic brush to pack that all over my lid as a base for my eyeshadow. <music> back to the Morphe 350 palette and taking the second shade here and it's kind of a satiny nude shade and I'm just going to pack that all over my lid where I just put that cream color base. <music> then I'm taking the shade right next to that and it's more pink and more glittery and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid as well. And the glitter is just going to add a little bit more brightness for this spring look. And also the light pink is very springy as well. Then I'm just going back in with that smaller fluffy brush and running it through the crease to make sure that I didn't get any glitter or lighter colors up in the crease. Then I'm taking the first shade in the palette, which is a matte cream shade. And I'm just applying that under my brow for a bit of a highlight. Moving back to the face, I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, and this one is in the shade Light Sand. And fair warning, a little bit of this goes a long way. I put a little bit on this brush, and you will see that I use it on my whole face. I just keep going back to that eye that I initially put it on because I could tell that, that was a lot of product, and I just keep spreading it around. I spread it to the other eye, the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, to my chin, basically the whole center of my face, just in that little bit of product. It is very thick very pigmented so fair warning if you use this product a little bit goes a long way and then I will just go in and blend everything out with a damp beauty blender Secret Brightening Powder and again my Beauty Blender to apply it. <music> then to set the rest of my face I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I recently got this because it was all over YouTube and everyone was loving it and I just had to have it and I understand why now. It is so soft and creamy if that's the right word for a powder it just feels so good on the skin so I definitely recommend it it's pricey but it's worth it then for bronzer I'm using the Hoola bronzer from Benefit and I'm just going to put this over where I normally do in the contours of my cheeks along my jawline and along the edges of my forehead and hairline <laughs> Just to clean up a little bit and I'm just going to let that sit for a while. 
warning, these are pretty pigmented. I dipped into the product once and used it for both cheeks, so it just depends. You have to be careful with blush because some you have to dig a little bit and some are super pigmented like this one, so just be careful. Moving back to the eyes, I'm using this eyeliner from Ofra Cosmetics in the shade Turquoise, and I'm just running that along my lower lash line, but I'm not going along my entire lash line. I'm only going part of the way, and then you'll see here I am kind of dragging it down as I get towards the tear duct, kind of separating the line from my actual lower lash line so there's a bit of a space in there. And then um, I'll show you what we're going to do with that later, but just draw a little bit of a line down at your inner tear duct. And then I'm going in with this Maple Geek shadow in the shade Pegasus. As you can see, it is a really pretty, it's a foiled shadow and it's kind of a bluish color and I'm taking a pencil brush and smudging that right along that shadow only on the lash line part and then when I get towards the inner tear duct more I'm going to take a thin flat angled brush and pack that along the liner as well. I am lining my lower waterline with a white pencil. This one is from NYX. <laughs> Instead of using a shadow for a highlight, I am using a liquid liner. This is a white glitter one from Hard Candy in the shade White Night. And I am applying that on my inner tear duct and in that space between the blue liner and shadow and my lash line just for a bit of a pop. And it really brings light to your eyes, especially for this spring look. Then I am going to go in and brush away that excess powder beneath my contour. And for a highlight, I'm using these two shades from the Carly Bible palette. One is a little more pinky and one is a little more champagne-y, so I just decided to mix them together for today's look. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. And for my top lashes, I'm using the Smashbox for exposure. And the bottom, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. Moving right on to lips, I'm using this Bella Pierre Cosmetics Lipstick, and I believe the shade is just pink. And I'm just applying this more in the center of my lips. And then for the outer edges, for a little bit of dimension, I'm using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Prague. I'm just going to kind of apply that to the outer corners a little bit. It's just a little bit darker, so it's not going to make a big difference like an ombre lip would, but it just adds a little bit of dimension more so than just one shade. And after that, this look is complete. I think it's very light and bright and colorful, which is great for the springtime. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.